Today on Tabs, we talk about editing a freaking music video. That's one. That's two. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Zach Ramlin here from the amazing Basement Show. So, this weekend I had the opportunity to work with Safest Houses yet again on another incredible music video. Hey guys, what are we doing here? What's going on here? Benson, oh, I guess yes. I'm just... Sleeping! <laughs> so, I thought about that and I realized that I need to show you how to do a music video. I've been wanting to do this episode for a little bit, so I thought now is the perfect time to do it. <laughs> As for editing a music video, I'm not really sure if this is the pro way to do it, but it's definitely the way that I do it. It's very basic, um, but it's so simple. So, here we go! What you want to do is begin by starting opening up your editing software. Now, editing a music video, you can do this in any software. It's really just learning the method. So, what we're going to do to begin with is we are going to find our song. So, I'm gonna go into here, search up songs. There's a picture of a cat, just to, you know, keep it, things interesting. So I'm gonna bring up safe as houses. Okay, kids mastered. Make sure it's an AIFF file. So now that we have our audio track in here, what we're gonna do is we're going to find our video track. Now I like to start off with a wide. So once you find your wide shot, which is this one in my case, what you wanna do is find the beginning of the song. So I've already found the beginning right here. Okay, so make your in point where the song begins, okay, and then make your out point where the song ends, and all you do is bring it into your sequence. So now that we have our video put into our sequence, pretty basic, but it should synchronize quite nicely to the actual song. Once you have that synced up, it's time to bring in your other shots. What I like to do is organize all of my shots and make sure all of them are pre-synced up to the song. So all you have to do is find a certain point basically works as like a clapboard in a movie scene, is find where the song begins. Once you find that opening note, make that your in point, okay? And then bring it into your sequence. So now I have two shots. So we have Thomas and the wide, but that's not good enough for me. I've got to add in more shots. So we are going to bring in another shot, again, pre-lined up with the video, which is this shot of Andrew. The rule of thumb is to have a shot of every single band member. So you want to have one of your bassist, your guitarist, your drummer, your lead singer, and you want to have your wide. Once you have those four shots kind of down pat, then it's time to go crazy with your B-roll. If you're doing run and gun, get those four done and then go crazy with whatever you want. Another trick is to delete all of your original audio or at least turn the levels down. I delete it because it just makes things easier, but if you want to do this. All you have to do is just click this little guy in the bottom corner, bring down our audio levels, like booyah, and now we have our four shots. So, what we're going to do is begin with uh, chopping this thing together. As you can see, we only have Elliot, and what I like to do is kind of do a method I like to call the staircase. Basically, what we're going to do is we're actually going to delete all of the first beginning shots so that we have just blank at the beginning. And now we have this bit here. So what you're going to do now is you're going to slide forward this shot. Now what I'm doing is I'm not sliding the entire clip. If you slide the entire clip, you're going to move it out of sync. What you're going to do is just slide forward the, the, the in point. Okay, so once we have that little in point slided in, the video starts off like this. Perfect, right? So now it's time to go a little bit crazier. And since we have these shots pre-lined up, all we're gonna do is slide the in point up here. Okay. And now play. And we have a lovely shot of the ground. So see that I don't like this shot. I'm gonna slide this one back. Slide Andrew's forward, or let's say slide Elliot's forward. Okay, and now we have this. So wide shot of the band. Now move up to Elliot singing. Okay, now Elliot's getting kind of boring, so now we're going to chop the beginning out, okay? And now move up to Andrew's shot, okay? And see how we just slide it forward? So, Elliot, Andrew, okay? And now cut from Andrew. So, make sure you kind of make a block here. So, as you can see, you just cut this bit here and this bit here. So, you're leaving the original clip, long clip over here, to pull from. And now we bring Thomas forward. 
Okay, so now whenever we play the entire clip, what we're gonna do is have something that looks like this. There, that, and now this. Okay, and then we're gonna cut back. So as you can see, it kind of works as a staircase kind of method. So we go down, then we go back up. And so let's say we get back to now our long clips, our originals. What we are going to do now is do the exact same thing. So again, cut them all at this point. Delete your big chunk. Okay, you have black now. Now it's time to work from scratch. So we slide up the shot that you want added in. Let's say it's Andrew. Now let's move it to Elliot. And now let's move it back down to the Y. So again, box it off, delete your middle clips, and slide the wide up. And it's tedious, but it's really quick. This is how you can get your basic edit done within an hour. Okay? Since once you have all of your clips all set up, you get something that looks like that. Okay? And again, you do it to the whole way till the song is completely finished. Now what about adding b-roll in? Well, all you have to do is make sure your entire scene is fully cut. Then, once you have your entire band stuff done, it's easy as just pasting in your b-roll on the top and then just playing your clip. You want to make sure all your band stuff is edited first so that it's easier to add in your b-roll. You don't want to add your b-roll in and then slide everything out of sync and then you've got this big conundrum and yada yada yada. So that's my basic way of editing a music video. There's no dialogue, there's no sound, there's no slate, there's nothing. It is pure cinematic geniusness. The only thing you have to worry about with shooting a music video is what's in frame. You don't have to worry about the sound bit. So you can get really creative with your shots, you can get really creative with your style, and you can experiment with whatever the hell you want. Now I'm going to show you the actual final result of the music video. Memories fade like looking through a fog mirror Decisions to decisions I made not find the thought it wouldn't hurt a lot I guess not Control yourself Alright, well I am your host Zach Ramlin and you guys can check out Rec Films Media uh, on Facebook, you can give it a like, and you can also subscribe. Um, other than that, check out the official music video of Safest Houses uh, coming out next week. And you can also like us on Facebook. There's lots of cool updates and, and fun, fancy stuff that way. See you later, folks. I've got to go work out more. Yeah. Ah! <sighs> <sighs> See ya.